2011 was a big year for 100G. We had network uh, equipment suppliers rolling out commercial 100G products, and we had network operators actually deploying these products in their networks. As we move into 2012, we see an even bigger year for the ramp up of the 100G technologies. Here at OFC, we had a chance to sit down with Huawei and take a look at their 100G demo. Today at the 2012 OFC, we are demonstrating uh, two technologies for 100 gig. We have our current technology shown in the shelf here, which we have over 15 commercial customers on this uh, technology. And right beside it on another wavelength is our latest generation, our soft decision 100 gig. The difference between these two technologies is that the soft decision FEC 100 gigs will go 30% longer than our current generation hard decision FEC. And we are demonstrating this capability through a network of 3,000 kilometers of fiber using Corning's ultra low loss fiber. So what we show and the additional capability of the soft decision card is we dial in some extra loss using this attenuator and we have live, not live, but streaming video on our two LCD monitors. And with the additional loss, our current generation hard decision, the image will freeze, indicating a lack of data flow. However, on our latest generation soft decision, it continues on with the data flow uninterrupted. Can you talk a little bit about Huawei's experiences with 100G so far? 100G deployment is on the fast track. What we found out is 100G is needed in both metro and long haul network. However, from the line card, we planned to deploy it, and we found that the long haul demand is much higher than the metro network. For long haul deployment, what we found is uh, long reach performance is the essential requirement from carriers. So we like to share more. One of the issues going forward, though, is on the economic side in order for these forecasts to come to fruition we really need to improve the economics of 100G and I'm wondering if, if uh, Huawei has some thoughts in terms of how do we get to better ec economics. First of all using the single carry uh, OIF standards compliant solution should be able to lead to better economics and since the supply chain is more mature and uh, the, um, we should get the volume benefits. Second um, if you look at the line card bomb beer and the optic is going to be and uh, is a significant cost down the road, especially with uh, um, DSP side is in the mass production for the ASIC. Um, another area we should look at is the performance. Um, from our experience, current deployment for 100G is mainly the network upgrade. So that means when we're putting 100G in, we should consider the cross-phase modulation from the existing signals. And a single carry gives a better performance in terms of this.